<laughs> What's up? <laughs> I saw you waiting in offline chat. I knew you were here already. I didn't want to stream, but I felt like if I didn't, we were bullying. <laughs> So we can't be bullies, all right? We're only here to encourage people to be better versions of themselves. I didn't want to feel like I was bullying G, right? Yeah, I mean, that's not bullying. <laughs> um Nah, well, I already told him. Oh. He is a little boy. <coughs> I told him that it's okay if he doesn't text her, so... As long as he's got a good reason for it. Also, I have a proposition for you guys, but I'm gonna give it to you in the Discord. I'm gonna make, like, a private little channel, and, uh... I'm going to invite the regular viewers to this Discord uh, channel, give you guys access to it, and I'll, I have a proposition for you that I'll give you guys over, over the next couple days. <laughs> I can't wait either. Hopefully Jake Paul just stops fighting at that point. He's fought the best fighter to ever live. And he could just die. <laughs> he could just die happy. <laughs> Um, and today we're playing a little Frostpunk, which is a very stressful city management game. But I figure we want, like, like pu push through it or, like, we could just take forever to make decisions and stuff. So we'll just have conversations and chill out and play some Frostpunk. <laughs> Are you butt body naked right now? That's how fucking <laughs> That's how Boomer says it every time He's like I butt body naked right now What's up with you guys And coming to my fucking chat naked bro is that, can we make that less of a thing? <laughs> I almost started streaming without a shirt on, but then I changed my mind. All right. Less of a thing. I would prefer there to be less naked children in my chat. <laughs> I didn't I don't think that's a controversial statement. Alright. The stale cold world. This is Frostpunk if you've never played it. The rulers of old. Stripped of pride and glory. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us, no matter wealth or class. We've lost our world to snow. 
with it our last traces of humanity. Farewell to plenty. And for those who remained, came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope pushed us forward, slowly, step by step. We knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. Welcome to Frost Punk, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I like how you timed yourself out without being able to actually time yourself out. <laughs> Guys, isn't it funny that G-Rite's not here? He doesn't want us to be mean to him. 28.4k? You're almost there, bro. Not quiet, but almost there. We fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way, our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the site of the generator, only to find it frozen solid and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst now that the world has, as we know it, has crumbled. You keep begging, <laughs> but she won't let you hit, bro. I don't know if you should beg then. She might not be like super into that. Might not be her thing, bro. All right, we gotta get this fucking generator going. We gotta heat the buildings and stuff. So in order to do that, we gotta get coal. I'm going to pause the game. <laughs> Do you think you care? I mean, if you want to bang her, then you shouldn't, like, make her... N her opinion equals not important. Thinking like a true man. <laughs> Steel. Coal. Coal deposit. So we'll go out to these coal piles, probably. They look like they're pretty cool. They're chilly. Low risk of falling ill. There's also wood out here. Which we'll need at some point. Kevin equals woman. Woman equals no real valuable inputs. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. So we need to send people out to this. You can have five people working on that shit. Or 15 and 15 working on the steel? Or should we just like not even risk our people yet? We also have no food. Stockpile some coal to turn the generator on. I'm gonna do that. We're just gonna do that. Stockpile some coal. We'll get these people working on it. Get them out there. So she should just let me hit? Nah, man. Women have a little bit of value. <laughs> and you gotta play to their strengths. To, to, to get what you want from them. Oh wait, shit, is this coal? No, this is wood. That's like really close though. I'm acknowledging that these are way closer than this shit. 
Yeah, I think you should be open and honest for sure, but also like respect your boundaries. If she doesn't want, <laughs> if she doesn't want to, like you shouldn't beg and force this shit. This is Frostpunk. So it's like a city builder, but like the world is ended and is super cold. And so your whole goal is just like keep your city alive while also expanding it. And you'll see that the main premise of it is that like you have to make hard decisions and that there won't ever be a right answer. You have to pick like the least fucked option. So like you pick one option, 50 people die. You pick another option, like you kick 100 people out of your city, like, you know. It's impossible not to give it. <laughs> Clearly not, bro. You guys have been talking for months. I think you should just give her time. That's my personal opinion. <laughs> Guys, I dropped my phone when I was snowboarding or skiing today. And I got snow in the charging port. And now every time I plug it in, it just beeps. And then it's like, beep, 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 beep. Don't charge. Beep, 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 beep. Don't charge. Hey, pussy, bro. <laughs> I think I get laid more than you do. <laughs> hey, we've stockpiled almost half of what we need. There's a, You can speed up the game somehow. Oh, I can move around like this. There is a way to speed it up. Oh, right here. You can make the game time go by a little bit faster. See you in a bit, B-Dog. And eventually we'll be able to build buildings and stuff. I guess technically we could kind of do it now. But I'm not... Like, there's like a little bit of a tutorial that it's kind of giving me. So I'm just going to go with that and not try and get ahead. Yeah, you can. I think grilled cheese girl is the same. No roof over our heads. Captain, people are understandably concerned about the lack of shelter. They're falling ill from sleeping outside in the terrible cold. We'd better do something about it. So this is like a, a decision. No, nah, I guarantee you, grilled cheese girl is. <laughs> Nobody tell her I said that. <laughs> You'll have two days to provide shelter for 40 people if we just say we'll provide some. Or we'll have two days to provide shelter for 80 people. And, like, doing these will give hope to people, but if we fuck it up and fail it, they'll lose hope and become more discontent. So, like, it's risk versus reward. I don't know what we're capable of providing at this point, though. So, I'm just going to say the smaller one. And we'll provide some shelter, bro. How many does this, uh, how, how many does this house? For 10 people, so if we need to provide 40, we have to build one, two, three, four. and we're out of wood. Okay, so then we gotta assign some people to this wood right here, right? That's the closest wood? I think so. I'll just assign the max amount of people to that, so that way we can build one more tent and then get this shit going. And we're almost to have enough coal. We're still grabbing that coal. To finish the first, uh, the first little mission. Yeah, that makes sense. I think if you weren't being respectful, then she probably wouldn't be with you, right? That's the way to go. No rush, bro. No rush. Oh, they're mad again. The wisdom of the crowd. Captain, when facing demands, remember this people usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. You don't have to agree to everything they ask for. If you fix the problem your way, it's fine. Ah, good to know. 
It's like Twitch chat, bro. She's got a giant booty, bro. I don't need to rush it. It'll be a reward when I get it. On oh, God, on oh, God. I like the way you think, bro. Alright, we built a tent. And it's warm, bro. Hell yeah, we built three tents. How much wood do we have? Zero? No one's even, like, gotten out there. The thing with this game is that there's, like, working hours of the day. Like, I don't know what time it is right now. There's, like, a way to tell the time. Yeah, like, right up here, it tells you, like, what's going on. So they're not going to go work during their free time. The generator's off. People are afraid they'll freeze to death in their sleep if you don't at least turn it on for the night. All right, how do we turn it on? I need six coal to turn this on. Don't we have 179 coal? So this is fine, huh? We can run that for the nighttime and it'll be okay. And like the higher, so this is like, there's different like steam levels for heat. And it, it goes farther outward from the, the base of the tower. So like right now, I think the only thing we can heat is this inner ring, which is why all the snow's melted. But like, if we get more coal and can keep it up, then it'll go out farther out ring and the farther out ring and the farther out ring. And so that allows us to expand, have more people and like take care of more people and stuff like that. This is delaying our mission progress though since we're burning coal through the night since they didn't get 200. I could have put people on another coal pile, but I did not. Illness and healthcare. Oh, these are like big boy tutorials. I don't need to read that shit. What's so loud? Oh yeah, this is Frostpunk, bro. Oh yeah, you can see where it's warm and where it's cold. Welcome back. This game came out a while ago, and the only reason I'm playing it now is because the release date for the second one was announced today, and it's going to be coming out in July, I think. So I wanted to play a little bit on stream, because I'll probably play the new one on stream when it comes out. All right, they're getting to it. I think I can probably turn this off right now. The number of sick is rising and we don't have enough materials to build a medical post. Perhaps a short burst of effort could help us gather the necessary resources. Consider signing an emergency shift law. <coughs> Sometimes you have to concentrate on the task at hand <laughs> at the cost of everything else or die Jesus after introducing this law another one can be passed after 18 hours We gain the ability to force workers to any facility to work for 24 hours. It raises discontent though It could be a worthy uh a worthy thing. I think for now, though, I'm just going to turn this off. Shut this building down. It'll be cold for now, but that'll let us finish this first mission while everyone gets coal. Or not. When does the... I wish I knew when the time periods were. But when the day starts, like, hopefully, like, at 8, right? 7? No, day starts at 8. Alright, they'll be grabbing wood and coal. So we can load up, get this to 200, finish this first mission, and also the second mission because we'll be able to build a second house. Or a fourth house. So that way we can finish this thing that we provided. 
we said we would do. We have four sick. What's it gonna take to build a medical post? Oh, 25 wood. Oh, we got it, bro. That'll be the next thing we build. Sick. Our hope went up, discontent went down. Our generator thing's about to be finished. We turn it on now. Now we gotta get food. So we gotta find a food supply by building a hunter's hut or a hot house. And then build a cookhouse so we can prepare it. But first, a tent, a medical tent. This right here. And then we'll think about food, cookhouse, hunter's hut. Is all wood. We might, it might be worth our time to commit the rest of our people to getting wood here as well. When do they stop working? <laughs> it's three o'clock right now. The wood gathering process is pretty slow. Hunter's hut. Oh, it's so big. And a cookhouse. Hopefully they build this in their free time. Sick. So on Friday we're playing a central mod Minecraft with Boomer and YT, I think. And then I haven't decided what we're going to do tomorrow. With basic resources secured for now, we can try and rescue the people we left behind. <laughs> Build a beacon. Scout Frostland to save as many survivors from our expedition as possible. Isn't that what Boomer said yesterday? That we were going to play a central mod on Friday? His Saturday? I need to assign people to this, right? Oh, shit. One person gets one food a day. And I can put my engineers on this food cookhouse for now. I don't know how much five food, five food feel, feel, he, 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 feeds people, but we'll see. And it's our little hole, bro. How did we even get down here? Oh, maybe this thing was an elevator or something at some point. Oh, shit. This needs staff, too, bro. Fuck. We could put our engineers on it. They're chilling. Oh, I didn't see that? Okay. Yeah, Boomer brought it up yesterday. So, I just wanted to make sure. I don't know what the essential mod is. So... That should be interesting for us all to play that. B Dog, how was your ice cream last night? The thingy where you can invite people to a world? So it's not like anything like crazy crazy or I had fried ice cream before stream, did I tell you that? Alright, so we're building tech next. People working here gather resources from nearby coal piles, wood crates, and steel wreckage. Could be helpful. In order to build these, we need steel, though. What about the workshop? Oh, we also need steel for the workshop. It's also far away. I guess this has kind of got a trail to it already. I'll put the five engineers on it. Just before the day starts. 
Also, Valor was fun. Bummer sucks, and so does Molly. Lamau. Yeah, fried ice cream, bro. They, like, take the ice cream and, like, wrap it in cornflakes and then deep fry it. So the cornflakes act as, like, a bread. Like a breading for it. They get deep fried and you kind of eat the ice cream out of that. Workers needed. There's so much to do and not enough. A quick way of addressing the problem is to put our children to work. Guys, do we make kids work? I don't know about that one. Build the workshop, though. Young slaves. Hell yeah, he says. <laughs> We need 12 coal to turn the steam level on, but we have to research it. <laughs> it's not, uh... It's not bad. It's pretty good. It's pretty much just ice cream with some fried cornflakes on the side. Like, it doesn't even feel like... Like you're eating like a f what I anticipated fried ice cream to taste like, you know? Alright, so we have like food rations for like two days. Hell yeah. And we have the workshop set to be built. If we have room for a tent, that would be awesome. Doesn't really look like we do. Not within the sun, like the middle heating zone. But maybe if it's better in a tent. Oh. Maybe people are better sleeping in tents than not in tents, right? Even if it's farther away and too cold. What's the craziest deep fried thing you guys have ever eaten? I need to upgrade my town hall. <laughs> I'm town hall 11 though, bro. I had a deep fried like Milky Way the other day. Or not Milky Way, Snickers. It was one of the two. I had it at a uh, at the fair. It wasn't the other day. It was a couple years ago. <laughs> I don't know why I said the other day. You only eat normal things? I feel like if you go to, like, the fair, that's fried food and shit, you know? How are there so many people hungry? Oh, it's going up and going down. They're eating this food. Okay. And then I've got more people working here. The hunters are going out for the night. Deep fried water? Is that real? Or did you, like, throw, like, a fucking ice cube out there, dude? Get some food. <laughs> you just throw some underwear on, bro. Called a day. So, yeah. These aren't that warm. But they're liver livable, which is good. Now we need to build a beacon. How do we build a beacon? We need engineers. Oh, my. gonna cost 20 wood and 35 steel which we don't have but we'll have tomorrow but we need employees to work it and I just don't have enough employees but we will have employees When this gets made. So I'll have 
two people working at the cookhouse and three people doing research. <laughs> Zero survival instincts. People just don't like doing work, bro. Maybe that's why you guys come to my stream. You recognize that I'm also lazy. You guys can relate to that. Alright, work time. Wait, the frost is here, bro. It just got fucking 20 degrees cool colder. 20 degrees Celsius colder. Now nobody's warm. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> I'm only on day four, bro. Well, we need to get to work. We got to get this beacon going. It's gonna take 11 hours. We have plenty of food. Fuck it. We're maxing this shit out. It's getting done today. Hell yeah. You're one of a kind, then, V-Dog. Your balls are pretty warm right now. Isn't that the thing where you, like, fucking sleep naked and you're more warm or something? Research is going well. I'm not going to build anything except another tent, maybe, at some point. They're just not along a road, and I don't know what that means. Family torn apart. Sir, a woman came forward after we built the workshop. She said that her husband and daughter didn't reach the city with the main group, but she's sure they're still out there. She wants to join the first scout team. Okay. <laughs> we'll send you out to die. Research is 60% done. We've got a couple hours left. What's going on over here? One of our people have become gravely ill due to frostbite. This will keep happening if people have to work in such cold. A radical treatment to sustain life law? Oh, that's like cutting off people's arms and stuff. <laughs> I don't know about that one, bro. What if we just don't s sign any laws? Balls. We get this beacon built, we'll have more people, and then we'll figure out our problems. And I might as well add another tent, so even though these people like it's really fucking cold out here at least they're in some side something gotta have like a glass out full p idea you know i need to ask you guys a weird question men and women who used to or currently have pps do you get boners when you gotta piss yeah all right the beacon has been constructed God, everyone's gravely ill. So, now what we can do is build a beacon, right? We just don't have enough steel still? Oh, we don't get any steel at all. It's like mad fucked. What else do we have on research? Allow to use heaters to heat workplace during working hours. Okay, well, we don't have any workplaces. Steam hubs. Additional smaller heat zones. Might be helpful, but they cost so much steel. Resources. Cold thumper. Faster gathering might be the play. Hunter's gear will get us more food, which isn't really a problem. And it takes seven hours to get faster gathering. I think we'll go with that for now. Just let these people fucking grind this shit out. 
It's not, I don't think you should piss with a boner, but I think like if you have to be, your one of your body's like natural like ways to deal with it is to get a boner. All right, and that doesn't hurt? <laughs> what? Oh, this is so slow because of this. Now we've got five engineers back and we can put them onto that. We're not getting wood at the moment though, but I don't think it's a priority. You piss with a boner, dude? That shit hurts. Thug it out. Nah, dude, that shit hurts my dick. So we've got people getting wood and coal and steel. Okay, so we're chilling. But we just don't have enough steel to build the beacon at the po this point in time. We have to make it to day six before the temperature goes back up. Really, dude? I feel like my dick gets hurt a lot. No, it's not even that, bro. I don't even think it's that. Like, it just doesn't want to piss when it's hard, you know? That's what I, why I think, like, what morning wood is. That was always my theory, is, like, you just get hard. You wake up hard because you have to piss. And it's just preventing you from pissing the bed while you sleep. <laughs> my little guy loves his guard. <laughs> Nah, dude. Sometimes your dick hurts, like, when it's, like, uh... Little SMH, bro. There's a lot of little situations where you're, like, pissing would hurt your dick or something. 14 sick people. 12? It's going down? That's good, right? Or are those 12 gravely ill people? No, nah, there's 12 sick people. They're chilling. How do we still have 10 homeless people? Oh, you can't live here because there's no road? Oh, what the fuck? How do I build roads, dude? That's kind of annoying. You can place a dog <laughs> on them. <laughs> sperm cramps? What the fuck is a sperm cramp, dude? Alright, everybody get out to work. After you come, your balls hurt? <laughs> what? <laughs> I've never once in my life experienced that. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Oh, it has to be built on a fucking road, too? How? That's, like, mad unfortunate. Everything has to be built adjacent to a street. Fuck, dude. Oh, my God. And we barely get anything back. Oh, I guess we get, like, 80% of the materials back. Fuck, I don't know what to do. I think if you don't come a lot, then when you come, your balls hurt. Or the opposite, where you come, like, way too much, and then your balls hurt because there's no cum left, you know? But I don't think, like, just, like, normally, if you're just, like, you know, Ayo, I've, I've came, like, that should not hurt your dick.
the force of seven dragons yeah I don't I've never gotten like a a cramp like that bro but all right they're gonna tear these tents downs downs we're gonna tear the tents down and then we're gonna build a beacon and put it on the very edge and then we can put like other stuff in between it or something somebody died bro <laughs> All right, we got to do something. Are we burning the bodies? Or wait, are we just freezing them? No risk of disease. Bodies are preserved for potential future uses. We have to dig though. Hope will fall and discontent will rise. Or we could build cemeteries. No risk from for disease. I think cemetery is the way to go, dude. We'll sign that law. We can bury dead people now. I just don't have any roads to build dead people along, so it won't happen right now. I don't know how to establish a road. Get phantom orgasms and imagine yourself jerking your dick. <laughs> what the fuck? You get ghost pains in your dick, dude? Phantom phantom limb disease in your dick? Not disease, but... We have three days to build a cemetery. Fan, I mean, you're not for real, bro. All right, good news when people die, we have less homeless. Bad news is people die. A worthy trade off, probably. We're about to run out of shit, though. Um, well, tomorrow it'll get much warmer, which is good news. But we're likely going to run out of these raw resources we can get with, without building, like, those new things. And we need tech to build those new things, I think. For the most part, we can't construct anything. We can build a resource depot, though. And a gathering post. But at this point, it might not even be worth our time to build a gathering post. <clears throat> it's kind of wild, dude. To, to like have your your wiener not there anymore damn is it getting warmer looks like it's kind of getting warmer okay so we can build the beacon now right go save some people oh my god it's fucking massive dude all right <laughs> that's unfortunate people get to be homeless but at least we'll go find some more people to be homeless God, why are there no roads? <clears throat> How big is this? We couldn't even construct two if we wanted to. Your school's about to donate their list in found, lost and found. You got AirPods? <laughs> AirPods? Hell yeah. Dude, because I work at a ski resort. There, people drop shit off like the ski lifts all day, like every day. So when the snow starts to melt, and like it gets closer to summertime, I'm just gonna hike up underneath the lifts and just like find all the shit that people lost. Just pick a lift and fucking go up it. I bet I can find a GoPro. I bet I can find like, like crazy like phones and shit. Like, yeah, it's gonna be sick, bro. And I'll like film it. We can film it and then I'll make like a little YouTube video about it. I can show you guys my haul on stream. It'll be lit. We built a beacon, so now we can find people, maybe. Look at that. Look at We're shooting that hot air balloon up in the sky. Stream that shit. The problem is I usually don't have service farther up on the mountain, but we could try. That would be a fun little IRL stream. All right, people are going to come find us. So now it doesn't even matter 
if we're losing people and they're dying and shit. Lost expedition crash site. Send scouts to learn more about this place. Numerous tents. We can see people moving about. They must be lost members of the expedition. Alright. So we go to the beacon to assign a scout team. Which is going to take five workers. So let's pull five workers from this wood crate thing. Because I think that's less of important. And I send them out. Fuck. Send them out here. I don't know, how long is that going to take? 10 hours? 11 hours? Not too bad. We are out of food, though. Which isn't great. <laughs> Fuck service in the ass. Make it your bitch and it won't be a problem. <laughs> You're right. I should totally do that. I don't know why I don't. Fuck, we're kind of fucked right now. What is this? People cheer as the giant observation balloon soars above the city. This is a real feat. Everyone feels proud of the work you they've done to make it happen. Volunteers have lined up eager to go looking for our lost people in the frost land. The woman who came forward earlier is among them. Well, she's fucking dead. I'm just going for the loose air pods. I don't need the charging case because those are like less easy to grab without the lost and found lady getting <laughs> mad. Wait, they're not just like, they're getting rid of the lost and found shit. They're not just going to like hand it out to anybody who wants it. That's kind of cringe. You want to go camping again, but it's cold? I want to go camping too. No, it wouldn't be 10 minutes. It would be... It would be much less than that. If I fuck service in the ass. A whole personal pizza, dude. I'm fucking hungry too. All I had for dinner was like... A cliff bar. Alright, I'm like... Okay at four plays, so I can make it last a little while But like as soon as I'm inside It's like 45 seconds, maybe and that's if I like don't stop and be like hey, yo Let's chill out for a sec <laughs> Which is like super embarrassing, but like I want it to last longer than 30 seconds and I don't know what else to do so it's usually just a like Hey, yo, let's chill out for a sec, and uh, then we can get back to doing whatever we were doing. So I usually drag foreplay out, like, way longer than most people are, are used to. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> and and it's not it's not fair, because then I'm the only one who has to workshop it. Like, I'm the only one who, like, comes up with ideas on how to, like, make it not happen that way. I'm just expected to last longer than I do, and I don't know how to how to make it make that occur I've tried so many things 450 calories isn't too bad bro discontent is kind of wild right now but at least the temp is going down porn pills oh not that okay okay wait hold on I'm checking this good <laughs> not talking about my sex life oh the mouth no don't time him out He's fine. He'll find some some confidence at some point. Time. Get <laughs> All right, what are we doing here? How can we make this more sustainable? They made it to the place. The rest of our people made camp here too exhausted to go on. We should escort them to the city. Okay. What is this? How do I... Search the area. A happy reunion. We enter camp, appearing out of the driving snow. A choir of excited voices welcome us. Thank God you found us. We've been wandering for days. Until we couldn't go on any longer. Soon we'd begin to starve. Children and adults surround us, packed and ready to go. We found a gloomy cave, sturdy shelter. We, If we escort them... They'll bring them here safely and quickly. We'll get four kids, 10 engineers, and 22 workers. 
if we don't, they'll head this way. They'll take longer and they'll probably die. <laughs> no, you guys didn't know that? I haven't ever brought that up. I've always been like a fucking like three pump chump and I don't know what to do about it. And yeah, it's like 45 seconds at a time. So like we can go, I know when it's going to happen. So we, I like pause. We're like, I'm like, yo, let's chill out. Yo, let's chill out. We're both having a good time. Let's just fucking chill out. <laughs> uh, we wait like in like 30 seconds and then we get another 30 seconds in. It's like, it's like a little rest period, you know? <laughs> We're going to escort them because I don't think there's really too big a reason for them to go out and search for more people, but see bring it back in five hours and then we'll see what happens how are we not getting raw food i don't quite understand that and we need to build a cemetery so in order to do that we're not allowed to have housing anymore there's edging does not work for me bro i'm telling you if i'm doing it to myself i can last hours there is an entire <laughs> it, it, it's like an entirely different issue when it comes to someone else like being intimate with someone else that doesn't help either dude I'm kind of all over that right now First time, it was probably pretty short. Just spend more time with it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This has been an issue since, like, my first time. And even consistently participating in, in the intimate act, like, multiple times a day for months straight, I never improved. Nothing ever came out of it. I've I've been this way for as long as I, I I've been sexually active and I don't know what to do about it. And like I said, the worst thing is is I have to figure it out. Like it's my problem. Like I and I, I what do I do? What do I do? I don't know what to do. So I just play Minecraft on on Twitch <laughs> instead. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Jesus Christ. So we will put a cemetery here when they come back from their work day, and we will have more homeless people. Well, I have a lot of homeless people, actually. We need this by two days in two days, which is chill. And we have four days until the temp drops again. <laughs> That's whack, bro. <laughs> I've seen that. That's just whack, bro. I don't know if I can get behind that idea. Um, we're gonna let this roll after these people get back. You can disband the scouts at the beacon or send them back out into Frostland. I think. Yo, first squad we brought back. Let's go. We're saving everyone. This is our little humble town. It's heartwarming to see families reunited after so many hardships, but shouldn't there be another settlement nearby? The first expeditions left London long ago. They ought to be well established by now. They'll surely help us find our footsteps. I'll keep looking. But I think for now, I'm going to put a pause on this because we have no fucking food somehow. We're going to pull this team and throw... Actually, we don't even have to do that. Sorry. Might be...
No signs of life. But we could get shit from the crash site. So let's head out that way. And let's like fully stock up all these people. Pull the engineers from here. Throw like regular people on there. This is maxed out. This is maxed out. This is not though, right? Max this shit out. Put everyone to work. You just get here to work. That's what you're here for. This steel pile got finished off so we can throw a bunch of people on there. A couple engineers. And... Yeah, we'll just let them do their thing. So this should produce some food. 20 food a day. I don't know why it hasn't been the last couple days. Our coal pile got depleted. That kind of blows. Just put them on that one. <laughs> eat the living. Eat the dead. You didn't sleep last night? I'm sorry, dude. Did you buy something crazy on Etsy that you can't tell your chat about? Some guy got ran over in our parking lot twice? <laughs> what the fuck? How does it happen twice? Oh, shit. We can build the cemetery now, too. Okay. So we're going to let this run. Cemetery will be established. We're going to go search for the crash site. We have a coal thumper now. I don't know if we can build it. It would go out here on this. Building here will block place for an important facility not adjacent to a street, so it doesn't even work. Are these not coal places? I feel like these are coal deposits. Oh, that's iron. That's coal. So yeah, it should go there. Oh, wait, it makes its own coal. It doesn't pull it from the deposits. Oh, that's kind of wild. But I don't have a road to put it on. Okay, so we're just going to let this shit roll. I'm going to grab a beer. One second. Did Bummer run the over? <laughs> yeah, yeah, she should be here. <laughs> he was like, he fucking <laughs> squared up on the car, dude, and got ran over a second time. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know if you guys watched that video uh, that I put in the Halo channel, the little podcast. But one of the professional Halo players, like, his internet isn't good enough at his house. So he rents an office space in, in the city. It drives there every day to play, <laughs> play Halo in practice. I probably won't go home for a while because my managers are busy. What does that even mean? What, what the fuck? Who has the money? Ah, uh, they're tired of being homeless, bro. I just don't know how to get roads to put people on. Sick, we have a cemetery now. We're gonna bury all our dead. They have to sign her out? She works at a fucking restaurant, bro. She should work for eight hours and then go home. Like, if you're trying to cut, don't eat more at all but if you're like actually hungry you should eat some more okay what are we doing how do we give people houses I literally don't know where to put them I don't know how to get a, a road
Maybe the Book of Laws will give us some roads. Here's your food additives. Eating the dead and the alive. Oh, wait. No, it's sawdust. We can add sawdust to meals to make them more filling. <laughs> it makes them... You guys get more food, but also not. Where do all those people sleep? On the ground, outside, in the cold. The negative 30 degrees Celsius weather. <laughs> All right, none of this is helpful. Ceremonial funerals, loss of hope caused by deaths is halved. That's kind of sick. Fuck it. Held at 2100. Wait, I got to read what fucking YT said about his school, dude. Hold on. My school has shitty service and they have a house right on the side that had to rename their Wi-Fi to, like, stop connecting to my fucking internet because someone gets the password. That's fucking awesome. Damn. Hi, bummer. I hope you're doing well. People used to put sawdust in bread. That's fucking grody, dude. I don't know how to make people not homeless. I actually like don't know what what we're supposed to do if I can't put houses down because I don't have roads. And there's like no roads in this research stuff or Oh wait, we can upgrade more scouts, resource depot, coal mining, charcoal kit, sawmill upgrade. Hot house, medical post, bunkhouse. Uh, fuck it, dude. They gotta be on roads, though, and I don't know how to construct a fucking road. None of the buildings we have built offer roads on them. Also, we're still starving and I don't know why. But they're gonna bring back food tomorrow, I guess. Bummer calls you to explain the situation, and now it's me, Bummer, Molly, and Bummer's girlfriend in the car. That's a lot of women in one place, bro. Dude, Nacho sounds so fucking good right now. Apple Badge is not the last one. They, like, go up progressively and get, like, super good. I think one of the farther ones is, like, like a golden carrot or a golden apple or something. And, like, you gotta probably go through cake after that. And maybe a pumpkin pie. As you should. We have three hours till our people get back. I have one and a half days to figure out where the fuck I'm putting houses. What I might do... Uh, fuck. I bet this changes. I was going to deconstruct these tents and rebuild them. But I don't think that'll work. Alright, check the picture. Check the picture, bro. Somebody else died. People die all the time here. That's kind of wild. Not all that wild, but... What is this over here? This isn't going very well, guys. A lot of my food cravings are salty or sweet. So, like, I'll crave, like, fucking Pringles or something. 
Oh, they made it to the crash site. What did they find? There's plenty of priceless supplies in the wrecks of our expedition searching among the crates scattered in the snow behind the wrecks. We found the bodies. They're tangled together in a single frozen mass as if these people were trying to find at last at least a bit of warmth just before they died. <laughs> we can do nothing for them, not even bury them. Jesus. So they're bringing back food and wood. Are they full though? How do I know like how much they can bring back? I don't know. I might send them out to something else. <laughs> like, they see the observatory. Like, send them here. The dude who got run over apparently ran away. <laughs> and the dude who ran over the guy <laughs> also ran away. <laughs> it's a... It's a... It's a... It's a Hey, get get hit and run. Alright, where do I put these houses? You, what happens if I dis destroy the fucking... This place, with all these dead people here? If I dismantle this, we get wood back. What happens to all the dead bodies if I dismantle a cemetery? Carrot, glistening melon, then bread, then baked potato, then the wheat. Then 620, 20, <laughs> Eat the dead bodies. I might do that. I might just dismantle this and see what happens. They come back from the dead. We have a zombie outbreak in the <laughs> fucking village, dude. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna full send, dude. Okay, the story's unfolding more. Bomber's co-worker watched the whole thing happen. That's insane. Nothing happens? No hope? No discontent? Wait, that's insane. Alright. I'll put a tent here again. That solves kind of part of our problem. Um, Actually, psych. We're not putting this here. Just kidding. Cancel that. We're going to take our hunter's hut and dismantle that for now. And we're going to build another one right here because it takes up so much space. So we can just get it off like the little edge of the road. And then in its place, we'll put tents. <clears throat> we might be able to get one or two maybe. Oh, we can move the beacon too? I don't know if that helps. People are indignant about the removal of the cemetery. They demand that the dead be immediately <laughs> reburied. Alright, it didn't work, bro. Bummer lore, she's a car. <laughs> Holy shit. Bummer saw the whole thing happen because she was the car, dude. <laughs> That's insane. That would be insane, G right. That'd be fucking insane. Alright. We can get new tech now. And I was going to get a medical post upgrade. So that we could heal our sick way better. And then... God, why do tents take up so much fucking space, bro? Wait, this counts as being on a road? Why does this take up so much space? Is it because of this? I'm so confused. You like Zots? I'm not a big fan. I'm going to dismantle the workshop when it becomes nighttime or like not work time anymore. And then, or dismantle this cooking house. We have no food. We have people starving. Oh, I'm losing it. There's survivors here? 
There's not a lot. Instead of astronomers, we are met by some of our lost people. They explain that they came here for help but found everybody dead. The astronomers continued their observations until they starved. What was so important for them? They wrote it up, their diaries. The loss of sunlight can't be explained solely by the fouling of the atmosphere by the southern volcanoes. The sun is dimming. Holy shit, the star is dying, bro. Alright, we're gonna escort them back. So, we'll get a new bunch of people and before that happens we will have established all our tents that are required okay dismantle this what do you got going on everyone's hungry i understand i'll feed you <laughs> somehow i'm not sure how yet but we'll get there dismantle this Fuck. I'm not a big fan of Zots. I don't like how they taste. Is what I mean by that. Alright, that should fucking solve some of our, our housing. It does not, however solve our food problem that we ha now have And we're three days, two and a half days away from this fucking shit freezing again. Going down to negative 50 degrees Celsius. It's illegal to eat a shark fin? Maybe in America. I bet you could go to some other country, though. Look at these guys going out. Alright, we fulfilled the shelter promise. So now we get rid of a couple of them and build a cemetery <laughs> or like uh, food we'll need food at some point or wait I got an, a genius idea fucking genius idea this gets dismantled and then the beacon gets dismantled and when the, they get back and then we move the beacon over a little bit to maximize space so it's just like off the edge of the road and then we can put like the cookhouse and the cemetery out here how do you make it bigger that's what she said what does she make it bigger dude penguins dude you think penguins taste good all right we brought food back we brought wood back and a bunch of a shit ton of people we've got a mad homeless population now Alright, so this, goodbye. This, goodbye. Deconstruct this shit. We're doing a little reorganizing. We can... Upgrade your town hall. Upgrade your town hall. I'm town hall 11 right now. You guys want to see my cock? Sometimes I wonder what the purpose of the struggle is, she says. Jesus Christ. All right, and then food. We need a cookhouse, right? Uh, it's going to take all that space. That's fine. We can have 68 homeless people. We need got to feed everybody, so it's going to happen. I can show you my cock at some point. This gets constructed. This gets a new team. Bingo, bingo, bongo. Max this out. Oh, we still have the same team. Alright, so we're going to send them out towards the sturdy shelter. Might be more people there. Now we're making food. We've got hella food. We don't have enough housing. I don't know how to construct roads. Uh, we're researching a medical post upgrade. We can have more scouts, maybe? Allows us to raise the temperature. We might need this. 
and, and or this. God, I wish I knew how to make fucking roads, dude. There has to be like a road button somewhere, right? Or there's like a streets. All structures in the city must be connected to the generator with streets, otherwise they won't function. To build a street, open the construction panel and click on the build street icon. Holy fucking moly. <laughs> no, dude, we've been struggling for so hard for just fucking trying to figure out the street thing for no reason. Ah, oh, shit, dude. That's fucking rough. Not gonna lie, that's fucking rough. <laughs> I feel like all our clips are wild, bro. Okay, we're constructing three out here, and then we can... One, two, three more, four more. That way everybody has housing. Ah. New code of laws. I think we should have a fighting arena, bro. Evening bouts will reduce discontent, but I'll have to build a fighting arena in order to do that. Fuck it, we ball. Oh shit, we should also build a cemetery somewhere, eh? Uh, roads. Right here, right there, and then build a cemetery, and a fighting arena. All this shit will be on a road eventually, they're just building the roads now that as we speak. Hey Vsauce, Michael here, where are your fingers? <laughs> How many fingers do you have? All right, wait, we can build roads? I think we're big chilling. If this stuff gets built in the next two hours. Oh shit, it's not gonna, it might. No, it's gonna take three hours. Oh, we don't have time for that. Oh, wait, this is fucked. This is about to not go well. No! Maybe? Maybe? It's not. It's not gonna happen. No, dude. That's so fucked. I'm over here stroking my dick. I got lotion on my dick. Oh, it went up so much. Oh, but then it went down again. Oh, okay. We're chilling. No big deal. Somebody died. Don't worry. We have a cemetery now. <laughs> I got lotion on my dick. I'm stroking my shit. I'm horny as fuck, man. I'm a freak, man. Like, for real. Alright, we're straight vibing, though, right now. I'm not even gonna lie. Does everywhere have employees? I might as well just put everybody to work. And get the last of these resources that we can reach. And then figure out what we're doing after that. Okay, we need to research, um, resources, eh? Turns frozen trees into usable materials. That way we can get coal and wood, and we'll worry about steel after that. <laughs> Bro, sounds like Kanye right now.
Alright, I well we're doing pretty good, I'd say. Oh, uh, that's not gonna happen. I disagree to that, but that's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Anyone listening would immediately implode and we'd get burnt at the stake. We're witches, bro. I feel like any conversation you have nowadays, people would be like, what the fuck if you went back in time? I feel like a lot of our conversations, people are going to be like, what the fuck if we go into the future too, though? A lot of the shit that we say is like mad fucked up. You think it could get worse? Like you think if someone like, okay, let's say, let's say we make a time capsule of like my streams. And someone 500 years down the road finds that shit. And they're like, they're not going to say what the fuck. They're 100% going to say what the fuck, dude. They'd be like, damn, our ancestors are like actual morons. No doubt about it, bro. No freaking doubt about it. But we also are just like assuming. This is what it was like on Earth. No wonder they killed themselves. <laughs> oh, we're so fucked, bro. What? They watched movies about Willy Wonka? Who the fuck is Willy Wonka? Okay, one of our people died over here. Just throw another person over there. They'll get buried eventually. These people are two hours away from reaching where they're supposed to reach. What else can I build that would be beneficial? It might be beneficial to have another medic place. Or a coal thumper, eh? Say we throw a coal thumper out here. And then we can put people to work at it. And then that way we have like infinite coal. Humans won't live long enough for us to be ancestors. You don't think so? You think we're going down with the ship, bro? They made it. Steam cores, wood, food rations. The shelter is comfortable and well equipped with emergency supplies. There's a notice posted by the heavy round door to all scientists. If you use any supplies, remember to notify the quartermaster upon your return to the city. This means there's another city out there. A signpost by the trail points two directions. London, 1934 miles home, 27 miles. Damn. So, in theory, maybe the steel bridge is where it's at. I say we, we head back. They'll be back in 10 hours. They'll bring all the goodies. And we'll see what we can do. I think in the next two to th or three generations, we're fucked. You know, that means, like, while we're alive, right? Next to two to three generations, would would assume I would assume that you're like in the next two to three generations from me, you know. So are we saying like like what what year would you say? How long are we making it, bro? These guys gonna be pumping out coal for us. I might put like a little gathering post right here next to it to gather the coal. We aren't making it 2150. You don't think we'll make it 100 years? I think you're probably right. <laughs> Based on my formal education, I don't think we're making it that long either.
Sick. No food at the cookhouse, because somehow our hunter people aren't bringing back food. I don't really understand that. When this is done, I'm going to work on heating in workplaces or something. I, I don't know how to fix the starvation problem. <laughs> Since we don't have any food, we might need to do like... Uh, but we don't even have any rations, so if we do like the book of laws and we we do like soup it's not even gonna do anything public house is like a bar or a brothel discontent will be reduced permanently each spontaneous duel will slightly reduce discontent should we let them fight each other <laughs> that's fine right it's okay if people die Captain, we found a boy frozen to the bone in the cemetery next to a fresh grave. Oh, Jesus. He must have been there for hours. He wants you to call an emergency meeting. He says that if you agree, his mother will wake up if you attend it. I can't call an emergency meeting, bro. I'm sorry. Nah, the most likely reason for our downfall would be the will be climate change at this point We will get to a point where the earth will be uninhabitable for us. And then uh, there won't be anything that we can do. I'm going to pull people off of this. And off of this one. It's either Putin goes insane and tries to take Alaska or climate change. I mean, maybe a war. But I think uh, war is unlikely. I think that... It's more likely that we uh, we are our own downfall because we don't respect the environment. He wants Alaska back, he said that. Yeah, but it won't be us, G, right? It won't be us. Damn, we brought back so much fucking food. And a bunch of wood and a steam core. I don't really know what to do with steam cores at this point in time, but... Is there anything that we can build that we haven't built yet? How many sick people we have? We have a lot of sick people. It might be in our best interest to build another medical post somewhere. That's like really far out there. Not really a good place to put it. Fuck it. Fuck it, we ball. We have a lot of extra people, a lot of extra hands. Let's throw them on there. He generally said that. That's wild. 2025 or 2029, I've seen some that might happen, but probably won't. The sun is going to be at, like, a solar maximum or some shit, and a solar storm will wipe out some satellites, and the internet will go down as a whole. If that happens, the people who don't touch grass are going to go wild. Where did you read this? Do you have a source? Can I read this? Yeah, I don't think there's anything that we can do. Going to college, like, made me a, a major doomer. Like, at this point, like, how far climate change has progressed, we're, like, the only way that we change it is if there's, like, mass institutional change and the whole world is, like, yo, this is fucked up and we got to do something about it. But that's not going to happen because it's impossible to make an everyone unite under, like, a common cause. And, like, global warming and climate change is, like, considered a political issue. 
rather than an environmental issue. So like the the in America, the left uses it as like a fucking. They're like, oh my god, we you vote for us and we'll take care of the planet. And the right's like, fuck the planet. Let's like, let's make money off big oil and stuff. And so it's like more political than like at all. Like it shouldn't be political. Like there's just like science behind it. There's like these are the facts. These are the numbers. This is what is happening. It shouldn't be like a political argument to like get people's votes one way or the other, you know? And because it's been established like that, we're never going to make any change and no one's really going to see like what the issue is. Cause if you, if you come at it and you're like, you go talk to somebody who like doesn't believe in climate change, they're going to think that you're like left leaning and politically like unhinged and they won't listen to anything that you say. Even if you're like you, you'd say I identify as like a right-leaning individual, and this is why I think climate change is like a, a major issue. They won't give a shit because it, it's been like ingrained in our our our, our brains that it's like a, a a political thing. <laughs> yeah, I got it. I'm opening another medical post. Don't worry, I was already on it. Climate change is fucked. It's pretty fucked. It's all our own doing, though. We're about to be full on coal, so I think if we do a resource depot, we can store more things. That's what this is, right? It extends our storage capacity for coal, wood, steel, raw food, and food rations. So, yeah, that should be good. My dad doesn't believe in climate change. He used to work on weather satellites. He claims all the data is faked. It's so funny. Jesus Christ. I don't know. It's kind of wild. I feel every time like I, I'm like judging people for like their, their views and I'm like, you're kind of crazy. I get the, 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 I get in the headspace of like, what if I'm the crazy one? What if I'm thinking things that aren't correct or like my, my logical processes are, are inept and incorrect. And then I like get down this rabbit hole like I can't judge these people because like what if I'm actually wrong and like the stick is in my eye or whatever, you know, it's like, fuck. <laughs> I mean, I do too, but I try not to say it out loud. I mean, it kind of does. It kind of does. But like there has to be a reason for people to think the way that they do, you know, I know. But then they'll they'll there's a lot of people who will like claim like. There's evidence, oh, sorry. There's evidence against climate change, which if you go for most of, most of the time, if you go and you're like, no, it's all faked. All the data and evidence is faked. It's a hundred percent faked. That's why it's like globally understood by like all scientists that aren't backed by like <laughs> big oil and shit. Yeah, no, it's way more complicated than it should be but do we go to the steel bridge or the gloomy cave gloomy cave I say you're stupid to believe big weather <laughs> alright I'm gonna let these people duel in public I think we're kinda big chilling right now and we're about to be literally big chilling when it goes to negative 50 degrees Oh, and we fulfilled the food thing. Now we just have to do the the heating thing, which I don't think we're going to be capable of, but we'll give it a shot. I'd like this to be a coal capacity. Sick. All right. I'm going to let this roll. I'm going to piss and grab another beer. There's no climate change. It's cold as fuck outside. Global warming at my ass. Yeah, we're not going to have, like, the fucking winter freezes in texas and shit like that and the mass cold fronts that go across the country if uh global warming wasn't a thing no but that's why whenever i have a conversation about it i refer to it as climate change because it's not just overall like higher temperatures it's like increased like weather variability and way more natural disasters and stuff like that because the the environment is less stable so it's, it's considered by most people as 
climate change rather than global warming. Global warming is a little bit misleading, although it is true. Somebody in my town all fucking died. No. No more deaths, bro. It's fine. We don't give a shit. Oh, it's negative 40, not negative 50. That's kind of sick. This is not going to be good for us. I agreed to that without even looking. Actual poor planning on my part. You found out why Bummer can't leave without her manager letting her? It's because the manager gives them tips. Oh. She can't just, like, count the tips and then give them, like, the next day. Acknowledge, like, who was fucking there and then, like, give them the next day. It seems a little wild to me. I'm going to throw this thing in overdrive. It's going to give generator stress. Actually, fuck it. I'm not doing that right now. Wow, people just die left and right, but I don't think it really matters. That's wild. Man, you already got 600, dude? Hell yeah. Oh, and it's 10 o'clock? Should I stream for another 20 minutes until we finish this beer? Or should I call it a day? What are you guys feeling? How are we feeling right now? They reproduce a lot? I don't think they do. <laughs> I don't think they're reproducing. We're just like bringing more people in from the outside. At some point, there can't be more people outside, right? All right, we'll keep it going. All right, all right, we researched steam hubs. So in theory, we should be able to place these farther out to make things more warm it won't be ideal 
but it will be beneficial in maintaining the health of our people, I think. Construct all of those. It uses like nearly in it, all of our metal. And then go back into the research. And I think upgrading our generator power is the play when we get enough steel. People die like all the time. That's kind of wild. Promoting climate change right here. Coal generators. I mean, the premise of this game is kind of wild. The fucking planet freezes and so everyone goes north? Why don't you go towards the equator? Like it's, it's like generally like way less uh, fucking variability in your climate. And it's definitely way more warm. So why would we go north to the coldest part of the planet that's farthest away from the sun? <laughs> uh, it's already weird. And then we're like using coal for heating and all this shit. Arg me boy Bob, I've overdosed on ketamine and I'm going to die. Arg, arg, arg. Money, money, money. <laughs> yeah, it's wild. These things should help with the heat I guess I thought they would what the fuck I guess maybe not these are lighter blue so they're chilly so they're not as bad but do we miss anything with them I think they hit most of the buildings and when this one gets built it'll hit them all money 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 okay this make homes livable was a terrible decision. I should not have done it. Big L on my part. Listen to three hour video of Mr. Krabs say money. Two and a half times today. <laughs> I'm glad you know that I got your Mr. Krabs thing and I was saying money because I like Mr. Krabs when he says money. Money, money. Some funny shit right there. Um. Are we researching anything? We're not, because we need this, and we don't have 10 steel. And we don't have people getting steel anywhere. I'm just trying to zoom out to find some steel. Actually, that's, like, really fucked. We got it all. Oh, okay, we're, like, mad fucked. Let's research something else that doesn't involve steel and figure out if we can... Wait, 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 wait. We need that. That's actually fucked. I didn't realize this was going to happen. This might delay us a lot. Inoperable due to temperature. That's fucked. So a oh, fucked. Oh, they made it to the gloomy cave. Oh, they found people. We can hear terrified shrieks coming from a cave uphill. When we come closer... Several polar bears <laughs> turn towards us, blocking the entrance. There are people trapped inside, and those beasts are picking them off one by one and feasting on them. Leave the bears alone. The bears will kill the survivors. Or we f risk attacking the bears. People in the cave will live. Scouts will escort them to the city, our city, if they survive. You guys think our scouts will survive if they attack some polar bears? This isn't their first expedition. I think they'll be. they'll make it, right? Not the girl cock pain. Alright. Full send. When our scouts attack the bears, the people in the cave, join them and together they drove the beasts away. So we got four children, 19 engineers, and 12 workers. Dude, we have so many fucking workers. Or so many fucking engineers. So they're, they're headed back. They're about 10 hours away. W choice. Yeah, we're gonna get some more people to die in our town. Major W. We have two days, a day and a half, until temperature goes down to 30. Oh my god, that's such a hit. I wish I didn't fucking click that. Oh my god, that fucking hurts. <laughs> Jesus Christ.
God damn. You're right, snowy slavery. We're bringing back 30 people, 40 people, so we're gonna need like four tents, bro. Let's build these in preparation. And we're gonna build them by the fighter's hut. Let's build a road first. We're gonna need a road out here. Excuse me. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Can you say cuatro? Do you know what cuatro means? It means four. Cuatro means four. Do we need some bitty badges, bro? It means whore. Quattro means whore. <laughs> Jesus Christ. If I overdrive this motherfucker, how does that work for temperature? Hey, that's pretty good. I might just overdrive through the night. Pay attention to it so it doesn't go crazy. A titty badge. How do you guys feel about piercings? How do you feel about piercings on somebody? Give me your hot takes on piercings. Alright, people are, have arrived. And we've got homes just for them. Look at us. We're gonna send these people out to the steel bridge. That's a long adventure. A day and seven hours. You have one ear pierced. Piercings are hot. Do you like piercings on other people, B-Dog? Would you ever get piercings yourself, g Right? If I got a piercing, do you think I would look good? And where would it be if, it, if I did look good? Or, like, where would it look bad if I got one and it looked bad, you know? Alright, this is not gonna cut it. 20 raw food. I don't know how much food that normally makes. I think we need more hunters. It depends on the piercing. You're afraid it would look bad and I'd be out of a lot of money and have a hole in my skin. Dick piercings are scary. You could get your ears pierced and that's not too bad, right? And that shit heals. Like if you get your, your ear pierced and you don't leave it in because you think it looks bad, that shit's going to heal in like a month or something. That's true. That would be scary. Your dick already gets caught on, on your, your fucking shit. Your ear piercing is so fucked it never heals. I mean, that could be just yours though, right? And it could depend on like where you went. Oh yeah, we're like cooking right now. We're fucking cooking with gasoline, boys. No piercings? You don't want any piercings, YT? Or you don't like people with piercings? Ears are less scary. Yeah, you might as well. All right, sleep tight, audio, uh, G. Right. I hope that you fucking text a girl tomorrow. You definitely should, like a hundred percent, like no cap, no kizzy. On God, for real, for real. Text a girl and make that shit work. All right. Always hit her ear piercings, and they got infected a few times. You would hit them? What does that mean? What did you hit them with? In what situation would you hit her ear piercings? <laughs> that's you. That's fucking wild, dude. Oh, uh, okay. Grilled cheese girl has a lot of piercings, and I like almost never run into them. Yo, player, what's good? You missed the construction of our our beautiful city, bro. And talk about climate change and 
sex, and some other shit. Sleep tight, G right. Thanks for hanging out. Look at these cooking huts established next to each other. So they're like connected. Isn't that so cool? That's fucking sick as hell. Climate change isn't real. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. My bad for bringing it up. Everyone's gonna start starving here in a sec. Oh, this thing, I gotta make sure this thing doesn't explode. We don't need it to be overdrive anymore. Everyone can be cold while they're not at home. 45 second bang bro sesh. Oh god. Is the city supposed to be in fire? Nah, it's supposed to be in snow, bro. We're the last city on earth. We're trying to make sure everyone stays warm enough that they can work. <laughs> and that's good enough for me. <laughs> Let me look at the economy real quick. Our coal consumption is wild right now. We only get 264 a day from this. And it, I think it's only because our gathering post doesn't grab very many. So if I construct like a road back here. And throw another gathering post on it. So, and then put a bunch of people there. We'll double our shit. And that should be good enough. And then when this is research is done, we can start producing steel, put people on there. And we'll be big chilling. I've got eight minutes left to stream, boys. She sings to herself. I don't sing to myself, but I talk to myself a lot. I think I definitely did it before I streamed, but I think it's it's a part of stream. It's I do it because of stream now. Drills into the walls of our crater, uncovering trees that once formed a forest before the ice engulfed them. Provides up to 160 wood wood per day. All right, we're going back to heated I, heating. I want this generator. Fuck, I can't do that. Dwelling for 10 people that is adequately protected. We can't do that because it costs metal. Hot house costs a steam core. As a, no, it costs metal. Fuck. This all costs steel, dude. I can't do any of it. Why negative 40 Celsius is the same as negative 40 Fahrenheit? I don't think it is. You guys are still in call with her? That's wild. So she's just hanging out doing fucking silverware? She's going to do that for hours? Oh, this is going to make a loud noise. Skibbity. It's definitely not. <laughs> it's definitely not, bro. Negative 40 Celsius is like negative fucking... Uh, like, like a 100 Fahrenheit or some shit. More than that. Like, these people should be dead, bro. I just Googled it. I think your Google's wrong, bro. Alright, we need to construct this steelworks somewhere. Oh, it has to be on the iron. Oh, that's kind of fucked. God, that's actually fucked. Okay. Wait, what the fuck? They are the same. That's crazy. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> dude, I'll, <laughs> I'll never fucking doubt you again. I'll never fucking doubt you. <laughs> that's, that's fucking crazy, dude.
<laughs> that's actually fucking crazy, dude. Holy shit, that's wild as hell. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, we should be sent in, sending like 40, 45, 40 hunters out. Oh, I almost drank my beer upside down. Yeah, dude, negative 40 is negative 40, bro. That's crazy. What the fuck? So it's negative 40 Fahrenheit right now. Like, it doesn't even matter if it's, it says Celsius or not. All right, we can do another thing. A new lore has passed. We can't build that without steel. We've got people building this, then we'll have steel. We'll be good. It's just a conversion rate, bro. It just happens to work out like that. Zero is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, zero in Celsius. Then it's like, it's like eight or seven degrees or something every Fahrenheit for every Celsius. It's kind of wild. This is almost done. We'll throw a shit ton of people on it. Dude, there's a duel going on. We'll get these people fucking working tomorrow. We'll get a bunch of steel. We'll build a fucking public house and a heater over here. And then we'll start new research to upgrade the power of this. Which is okay because we'll get it by day 15. And tomorrow the temperature will go back to negative 30 hopefully. And we'll be being chilling bro. Straight up being chilling. I'm going to throw this motherfucker in overdrive so everyone can be warm while they sleep. I think we're chilling. I think we're chilling. Oh, why'd that make it smaller? Hello. Hello. All right, all right. Basically, <laughs> if I were to call you a bitch, I'd basically be calling you a nice guy if you take a few letters out and put a few letters in, you know? <laughs> you know? 295 Kelvin is 70 degrees Fahrenheit? I don't know Kelvin, bro. I don't really keep up to date with the Kelvin shit. Oh, we didn't assign people to this gathering post. Oh, we did. So what's our, our coal production now? There you go. Should be big chilling. In the morning, it gets warm. It's nice and summer. A little vacation. We've made it to day 12 with little to no issues. Discontent is actually at zero. Hope is not that high, but it's better than not having any hope at all, right? We only have 10 starving, 10 hungry people out of our 150. If you think about that, that's like what, like 15% or something? Not even, bro. That's like being chilling. 10 divided by 150, bro. You could divide it by 10, then it's 1 out of 15. Then whatever percentage that is. I'm going to head out being called to bed. Hey, sleep tight, bro. Thanks for hanging out. Little to no issues as if over 300 people didn't die. Hey, we can look at the cemetery, bro. We can look at the fucking cemetery. There, all these people have died. There's only 20 there. And before we deleted the first cemetery, there was only like 15 people or something. That's like 35 people. I'd say that's not bad. 
I would say that like our fucking mortality rate isn't terrible. <laughs> yeah, it's getting warmer. Woo! All right, we'll turn this fucking overdrive shit off so it doesn't explode. Everyone's big chilling and warm. When the day starts in 15 minutes, or now, we should be pumping out steel. Get back to work. So then we can fucking build a generator. A fucking steam hub, rather, sorry. At 10 steel, I think. Oh, it's 20 steel. Jesus, they're so expensive. Alright, they're just gonna be cold as fuck out there. Oh, they're gonna be so cold. It's fine. It's John. We're big John. Oh, they made it. They made it to the bridge. Automation? A automaton? We stopped at the edge of the deep, wide ravine, marveling at the steel bridge, spanning it even more so at the huge automaton sweeping snow from the roadway. It would be possible to send this machine back to our city or disassemble it for resources. You guys think we should turn it into resources or use it? Enslave the robot. What do you guys think? <laughs> yeah, you're right. So many people died. Ain't that like a cool day? 72 degrees? Kind of slavery. Slave the robot. We programmed, we reprogrammed the automaton and sent it on its way as it disappeared in the distance, walking steadily towards our city. The first wisp of snow started to settle on the bridge. Damn. Did we go to the weather station or the large convoy? That's going to be a lot of people, right? A tall building with some peculiar devices on the roof is most likely a weather station. I think we fucking send them to the weather station. Call the day. Enslave a robot. Read whatever this fucking says. Finding the bridge to winter home proved that we're on the right track, but raised questions. Why was the bridge deserted? Why was the automaton under the care of an not under the care of an engineer? There are logical explanations to it all, but people are growing anxious. Hopefully, it, none of this is because we're the, actually the last city and that there's actually another city somewhere and we're being chilling, you know? Hopefully, that's what it is. Atomic bomb. Well, the automaton will get here in two days. In 14 hours, they'll make it to a new a new location. Um, I think we're kind of being chilling. We need our hope to go up. All right, I'm going to head out. See you all till, till meme day. All right, bet. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, it was good to see you. It's always good to see you, bro. Much appreciate you being here. Hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'll see you in meme day. Real shit, like what if back in actual slave times a slave made a big ass nuke? <laughs> That'd be fucking insane. We were definitely by like enslaving people not really seeing their full potential, you know? But, like their brain and shit. Alright, I'm about to be finished with my beer. I've got one or two sips left. Is there anything here that we would like to add? Moonshine. Every meal slightly lowers discontent. Eating soup causes less discontent. Or this, a house of pleasure. Oh, shit. Prostitutes can be employed in the public house to further lower discontent or hope will slightly fall. I don't think we need to lower discontent. It's at an all-time low. So, is there anything that can raise hope? Child shelter can raise up. We could do that. And then we'll be required to build one, but that's fine for now. Let's build this here on the road so they're warm. And then uh, child shelter requires five steel. So hopefully we'll get five steel over the next three hours. We could build a child shelter somewhere. And... Hope will rise a little. Being chilling, bro. 
41 people starving. We just don't get food, I guess. You need a house of pleasure, bro. Don't we all? Oh, people are hungry, and we need to feed them. Oh. All right, we'll feed them. And I'm going to call it there. Save game. A new save. This is stream save. Bingo, bingo, bongo. I finished my two beers. I got to pee so bad. Uh, I'm sorry for acting like I wasn't going to stream tonight. I definitely thought I wasn't going to just to like punish G right for what he was doing. But it's okay. Maybe some Minecraft tomorrow. We'll see how we feel. Um, but definitely Minecraft on Friday for sure. The essential mod. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you guys tomorrow at like 8 o'clock. Hugs and kisses. Love you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.